There are a few countries on the planet that did not have the influence of European colonizers brought upon them. After the 16th century, European powers attempted to control the rest of the world and all its wealth. They were successful in taking control over large parts of America, Africa, Australia and Asia. Some countries, however, were able to avoid this colonization. Hello and Namaste and welcome to our channel Itihas where we talk about people of the past and interesting facts of the history. Do subscribe to our channel and join us in this journey as we unravel the pages of history. Today we have 10 countries who were never colonized by Europeans. In number 10 we have Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is geographically the largest sovereign state in Western Asia, second largest in the Arab world after Algeria, fifth largest in Asia and the twelfth largest in the world. Saudi Arabia has been primarily ruled by tribal leaders from throughout the region. In the 16th century, the Ottoman Empire ruled, gained control of majority of Saudi Arabia and remained in power until 1918. During this empire, the Saudi royal family began fighting for control of the country. This political movement coincided with World War I, when Britain was fighting against the Ottoman Empire. In order to weaken the empire, British provided support for a pan-Arab revolt. At the end of the war, the empire lost control of Saudi Arabia, leaving behind a united Arab state. In number 9, we have Iran. Both British and Russian forces were interested in controlling present-day Iran, which was the then Persian Empire. Iran suffered during the 1800s as the Russian and British fought to build their empires in the Middle East, but was never subjugated to colonization in an official sense. The country did lose some of its territory during the Russo-Persian and Anglo-Persian wars, but was still considered an autonomous state throughout the history. Russia captured some of the northern areas of the empire, which is present-day Turkmenistan, in the 19th century, and the British force gained power in the eastern region of the Persian Empire near present-day Pakistan. Meanwhile, the vast majority of Iran was still under the rule of the Qatar dynasty, which had borrowed money from the European banks. Unable to repay the British and Russian governments, came to an agreement that they would control and share Persian revenues from various revenues. While the Persian Empire never agreed to this condition, it did prevent the country from being officially colonized. In number 8, we have Korea. Though Korea was never colonized by European powers, it was ruled by Asian powers. Until 1895, it was under the control of Qing dynasty. Then the Japanese government gained control over Korea after winning the first Sino-Japanese War. It became a formal Japanese colony in 1910, avoiding European colonization. In number 7 we have Thailand. Thailand, officially the Kingdom of Thailand and formerly known as Siam, is a country at the center of Southeast Asia, Indochinese Peninsula. The kingdom was located between the French-ruled Indochina, present-day Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia and British-ruled Burma, now called Myanmar. King Chula Longkorn of Siam worked to adopt several European customs and became interested in European technology in an attempt to prevent colonization. Despite immense pressure from European powers, Thailand escaped colonial rule by maintaining strong rulers and exploiting the tension between colonizing powers, namely France and Great Britain, which had spheres of influence across neighboring countries in Asia. In number 6 we have Afghanistan. Afghanistan, like Persian Empire, caught the attention of both Great Britain and Russian forces. Being aware of this intention helped the Afghan military conquer the British army in the First Anglo-Afghan War of 1839. Not so easily deterred, the British forces once again attempted to take control of Afghanistan in the Second Anglo-Afghan War, which lasted from 1878 to 1880. During this war, the Britons were able to negotiate control of the country's foreign relationships while Afghanistan retained domestic control. In number 5 we have Ethiopia. Ethiopia managed to remain uncolonized by the Europeans between 1880 and 1914 when the European powers competed to invade and colonize the African continent. By the end of the invasion period, roughly 90% of Africa was colonized by European nations. In 1867, King Theodoros wrote a correspondence to Queen Victoria of England, who never responded. Angered, King Theodoros imprisoned several British subjects in 1868, refusing to release them. 
British forces invaded in a failed attempt to overthrow the king. In 1888, Italian forces arrived but negotiated with Ethiopia, only taking over Eritrea. Ethiopia managed to defeat the Italian army in the first Italo-Ethiopian War of 1896. In 1935, Italian forces under Mussolini again invaded and this time occupied Ethiopia and overthrew Emperor Hel Selassie. Emperor Selassie regained control at the end of World War II in 1941 and annexed the Italian colony of Eritrea in 1943. In number 4 we have Bhutan. Bhutan is one of the few countries that have indisputably maintained complete sovereignty throughout history even before its official consolidation as a nation-state in 1660. Though it did not have to fight several wars against the British during the 18th and 19th century, subsequently losing bits of its territory and political influence outside its borders, Bhutan remained entirely autonomous throughout the colonial period. From 1772 to 1774, the British military fought and gained control of some insignificant areas of the Kingdom of Bhutan. In number 3 we have Nepal. From 1814 to 1816, Nepali military forces fought in Anglo-Nepalese war. The British East India Company, however, had larger troops and was able to gain control of approximately 30% of the territory of Nepal. In this case, the geographic features of the country worked to its favor and the mountains impeded British passage. Unwilling to take on the rugged terrain, British forces left the rest of Nepal as an independent state, creating a border zone for British India. Additionally, the British Army was impressed by the military abilities of the Gorkha troops and recruited them for colonial army. In number 2 we have China. During the European attempt to control the world, the Chinese Xing Empire was an extremely large force. Its size worked its favor, making it an elusive target for colonization. Britain and France, rather than gain colonial rule, were able to gain some power over China through its imports and exports. The status as favored nations grew during the First and Second Opium Wars from 1839 to 1842 and from 1856 to 1860. Seeing the benefit of being a favored nation, the US, Russia and Italy wanted some status. Rather than being colonized, the coastal areas of China were divided among Western powers causing the Xing dynasty to lose some but not all of its control. Lastly, in number one, we have Japan. Well, all people know that Japan was able to resist the European colonization. Moreover, its government established a strong influential presence in Taiwan, Korea, and South Sakhalin. The government was aware of the threat of Western invasion and in response, it initiated the Meiji Restoration of 1868. This social and political reform redyed the country to successfully defeat Jing China during the First Sino-Japanese War. Japanese were able to defeat the Russians in the Russo-Japanese War of 1905 when Russians tried to invade it. During World War II, it became a colonial power as well after annexing Korea and Manchuria. Well, that is all for 10 countries who were never colonized by the Europeans. Hope you guys like this video and do comment down in the sections below if you think the European colonization would have been a better option for these countries. Also, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel Thank you and have a good day.